Greetings, comrades and friends. And um, I just wanted to drop in, spend some time worshiping and reflecting on this Father's Day 2021, um, a day that many of us probably didn't expect that we would see. And I just want to take some time to wish uh, all the fathers out there happy Father's Day and, and um, remind us of our, our, our duties. And if we feel as if we, we didn't rise up to the occasion last year, well, we have a new year to, to try to start again. It's never too late. And um, today we're just going to uh, have some fun together for a few minutes. And uh, we're going to start off. Um, with a lovely song to God be the glory God is our father and we give him thanks and praise to God be the glory Amen. I feel like praising. I feel like praising. And um, for all fathers, mothers, boys and girls out there, let's just praise the Lord. Let's just spend some time to praise the Lord. In spite of the COVID, in spite of problems, sickness, death, um, disappointment, setbacks, we can still praise Him because God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Let's, so let's, let's, let's praise Him now. Let's praise Him now.
So I want to feature my, my family. Um, when I was small, we would always um, sing together as a family. And uh, my mother is no longer with us, but my father is still there and um, my two sisters. And so um, we're going to go back in time, sing a song that we used to sing about um, the father and featuring our father who used to teach us and teach many choirs across the country about it. And so it's a special, special dedication to father, especially our father. Um, Mr. Jonathan W. Kelman, still with us. want to read this scripture i just want to leave that with you in luke chapter 15 starting from verse 11 jesus continued there was a man who had two sons the younger son spoke to his father he said father give me my share of the family property so the father divided his property between the two sons 
Not long after that, the younger son packed up all that he had. Then he left for a country far away. There he wasted his money and wild living. He spent everything he had. Then the whole country ran low on food. So the son didn't have what he needed. He went to work for someone who lived in that country, who sent him to the fields to feed the pigs. The son wanted to fill his stomach with the food the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Then he began to think clearly again. He said, how many of my father's hired workmen have more than enough food, but here I am dying from hunger. I will get up and go back to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and I have sinned against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired workers. So he got up and went to his father. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him. He was filled with tender love for his son. He ran to him, he threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattest calf and kill it. Let us have a big dinner and celebrate. This son of man was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, but now he is found. So they began to celebrate. Many years ago, I was like this prodigal son. I left home, I moved into my own apartment. And about two, three weeks later, after I was in the apartment, I got laid off from my job. Didn't have anywhere to go. I sat down there pondering what I would do next. And the only place I could think about going was going back home. And I thought what I was going to say when I approached my father at the workplace. And I went to the workplace the next day. And I stood there, he was working behind the counter. And I, and I um, stood there in the corner in the, in, the, in the post office. And he saw me, but he still kept working, uh, which made the whole tension um, rise even more. And then he closed the booth and then he came up to me and all I said was, Daddy, I, I, I lost my job. And, and he said, um, so I'll get your mommy and, and your sister to come. Uh, we'll come to the apartment to get you and carry you home. Now, of course, I never even told him where I was living. So I had to give him the directions and then he came to get me the next day and I, I moved back home. And um, one thing that I always have found out over the years is that my father always said the door is always going to be open to us, the children. And that's true. No matter what we have done, the door has always been open. Daddy always keep the door open. And I put all these things together with this prodigal son, my own story, to tell you that God our Heavenly Father always has the door open for you. It doesn't matter what you have done. Um, it doesn't matter how you are feeling. Go back. Go back home. Go back home because your God, is, God the Father is going to forgive you. He's going to restore you. As long as you're genuine, you realize what you have done wrong and uh, know that he is willing to forgive you. And um, this is what I leave you with. In a time like today where life is so uncertain, you can go back home. God bless you today. Let, let's pray together before we close out. We're going to close out with a lovely song. Nothing but the blood of Jesus, nothing can save you. And this is how we're going to leave today. But let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, we thank you um, for this lovely day. Thank you for the time we just reflecting, pausing, and sharing, and thinking about your love, your mercy, your forgiveness, your salvation. If we just come forward in a step of faith, in a step of repentance, genuine repentance, pray for those who are out there today um, who, who, may, who may come across um, this, this, this video and, and um, they are struggling. Help them to know that they can come to you. Help them to know that there is forgiveness in you. Help them to know that there is a second chance in you. Help them to know that there is the promise of everlasting life from you. As, as long as they believe in Jesus Christ. Who came to die on the cross to save them. All of us from their sins. So I place them in your hands. Place my own life. Place my family. Place uh, 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 the people that I come into contact with. My friends across the world. We thank you for life. We pray for your protection, for your provision, and for you to fulfill your promises. We thank you because you are 
our Heavenly Father. And we give you thanks for the Trinity. You the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Now let's go and sing a proud praise. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Blessings. <laughs>